Welcome back to List Jumbo. When a volcano erupts, the explosiveness of the volcano is measured by the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. The volcanoes on today's list have the highest VEIs the world has ever seen. Here are the top 10 biggest volcanic eruptions in history. Number 10. Novorupta. On June 6, 1912, the most powerful volcanic eruption of the 20th century took place in Alaska. The eruption of Novorupta, which lasted 60 hours, had a VEI score of 6, and was heard as far as 750 miles away. The volcano spewed volcanic ash, completely covering the nearby town of Kodiak. In fact, the ash fell so thick that it was up to a foot high in some places, causing buildings to collapse under the sheer weight. Furthermore, it completely blocked out the sun and made it impossible to breathe, forcing residents to seek shelter indoors. The ash cloud caused by the volcano was seen in western Canada and even some western states, and even traveled as far as Africa. The pyroclastic flow of the volcano covered an area of 120 square kilometers, and the hot ash flows filled an entire valley, creating the famous Valley of 10,000 Smokes. Luckily, however, because the volcanic eruption occurred in a fairly remote area of Alaska, there were no reported deaths from this massive blast. Number 9. Lackey In June 1783, the Lackey eruption began. The Lackey eruption blasted out 42 billion tons of lava and hydrofluoric acid, creating enormous devastation to the land and the people of Iceland. The lava alone destroyed 20 villages, but the poisonous gases and compounds from the volcano also contaminated the soil. Livestock, farms, and crops were completely destroyed, which led to a massive famine. This famine killed over 25% of Iceland's population, and the 120 million tons of sulfur dioxide that was released into the air had global effects, as it caused temperature drops everywhere. This drop in temperature caused crops to fail in Europe. In fact, some historians have suggested that the Lackey eruption may have been a contributing factor to the start of the French Revolution, as crop failure in Europe caused continent-wide famine. Number 8. Mount Vesuvius Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, and the magnitude of its eruption has earned it the title one of the most destructive volcanic eruptions in European history. Located in Campania, Italy, Mount Vesuvius erupted with such force that it spewed hot ash and molten lava at a rate of 1.5 million tons per second. The eruption, which lasted an estimated two days, began with an explosion of gases, which reached a height of 33 kilometers high. From there, the pyroclastic flows, which reached a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, were fast and fierce completely incinerating the towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The actual death toll is unknown, but historians estimate that at least 16,000 people were killed, as flows were so hot that people would have been killed within a fraction of a second. Mount Vesuvius is still an active volcano today, and scientists warn that should it erupt again at that magnitude, over 600,000 Italians will be in immediate danger. Number 7. Krakatoa The Krakatoa eruption occurred on April 26, 1883, and had a VEI of 6. The stratovolcano, located on the Indo-Australian plate, erupted with such power that the eruption was heard thousands of miles away, and is called the loudest sound ever heard by man. Erupting with a force of more than 13,000 times that of an atomic bomb, the volcano released 20 million tons of sulfur into the air. This sulfur had a global impact and caused what is known as a volcanic winter, dropping the temperature worldwide by 1.2 degrees Celsius for five years. The explosion completely destroyed the island of Sebesi, leaving no survivors. It also caused a huge tsunami and killed upwards of 36,000 people, making it not only one of the world's loudest eruptions, but also one of the deadliest. Number 6. Santa Maria On October 25, 1902, 
The Santa Maria volcano in Guatemala erupted with a force so great that it tore apart the southwestern part of the volcano, leaving a crater one kilometer wide and 300 meters deep. The volcano produced a column of gas that rose 16 miles high into the sky and produced 1.3 cubic miles of dacite pyroclastic debris. The volcano, which had been inactive for at least 500 years, spewed out 5.5 cubic kilometers of lava. The debris from the volcano covered 273,000 square kilometers, and the ashes left Guatemala dark for several days. Large rocks also burst forth from the volcano, falling as far away as 14 kilometers away, destroying houses and farms. Considered to be one of the biggest eruptions of the past 300 years, the Santa Maria volcano killed over 6,000 people, and its ashes traveled as far away as San Francisco. Number 5. The Yellowstone Supervolcano 640,000 years ago, the Lava Creek eruption at what is now Yellowstone National Park erupted with a VEI of 8. The volcano released 240 cubic miles of rock, dust, and volcanic ash. The volcano's ash covered the sky over the United States and led to widespread loss of vegetation and animal life in the region. Scientists have also found that this massive eruption, and the ash that fell out from that eruption, caused the ocean to cool by 3 degrees. The volcano's eruption also sent the Earth into a volcanic winter, not just cooling down the ocean, but also the atmosphere. The Yellowstone volcano is still active today, and lies beneath Yellowstone National Park. Scientists believe that there is enough lava there to fill the Grand Canyon 11 times. They also believe that when the volcano erupts again, it will have a massive impact on the climate, like it did in the past, and can even trigger an extinction event. Number 4. Mount Thera Also known as the Santorini eruption, or the Late Bronze eruption, the Mount Thera eruption took place in 1646 BC, and is considered by some scientists to be the biggest volcanic eruption ever witnessed by man. The volcano erupted with a force of 40 atomic bombs, and completely buried the village of Akrotiri in ash. The massive amounts of sulfur dioxide released into the air caused years of cold, and dropped the temperature globally. The environmental impacts could be felt as far away as North America and Antarctica. It is impossible to know exactly how many people were killed but scientists estimate that there are at least 40,000 people killed in the time span of only a few hours. The eruption of Mount Thera also had historical consequences, as the Minoan culture was the dominant Mediterranean civilization at the time. However, the deaths and resulting famine caused by the volcano greatly impacted their population, which likely shifted the course of the ancient political world. Number 3. Mount Pinatubo the second largest eruption of the 20th century happened in the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo erupted with a VEI of 6, creating a lava dome over the volcano that was 200 meters wide and 40 meters tall. The volcano spewed out 10 cubic kilometers of magma and ejected so much particulate into the air that it formed a global layer of sulfuric acid. The temperature dropped globally by 0.5 degrees Celsius and ash falls were found as far away as Malaysia and Indonesia. The eruption was preempted, and evacuation alerts were sent out on June 7, 1991. 60,000 people left their homes to find safer ground, and although 847 people were killed by the volcano, it would have been a lot more if not for the evacuation alerts. Number 2. Mount Tambora the biggest volcanic eruption in human history began on April 10, 1815, in the Indonesian island of Sumbawa. With a VEI of 7, the eruption of Mount Tambora had far-reaching global consequences. Not only were 100,000 people killed by the volcano itself, but the volcano also released a 400 million ton cloud of gas that blocked out the sun. This led to environmental cooling which killed crops and created what is known as the year without summer. The cooling also caused the worst famine in the 19th century in the northern hemisphere. Lava flowed from the summit, wiping out the town of Tambora, 
And the gases from the volcano were so thick and heavy that they created a dark cloud that could be seen over 600 miles away. Both the immediate and wide-scale impacts of Mount Tambora's eruption were felt for many years. Number 1. The Deccan Traps At the end of the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth, the Deccan Plateau volcano began a series of eruptions that are, inarguably, the biggest volcanic eruptions in history. Starting around 66 million years ago, the volcano at the Western Ghats spewed enough lava to cover an unbelievable 1.5 million kilometers of land. The quantities of sulfur dioxide released cooled the Earth a whole 2 degrees Celsius and poisoned the oceans, killing off massive quantities of plankton. The gases also poisoned the soil, killing off vegetation as well. Although the scientific community generally agrees that it was an asteroid that ultimately killed the dinosaurs, a number of scientists are now claiming that these volcanic eruptions also played a part. The volcanic eruptions were so massive that some scientists are suggesting that the dinosaurs were already on their way to extinction when the asteroid hit. In any case, whether or not the volcanic eruptions of the Deccan Plateaus were big enough to kill off the dinosaurs, they were still the biggest volcanic eruptions in history, earning them the number one spot on our list today. Thanks for watching, and check out our previous video on the biggest waves in history, and be sure to subscribe for more.